So guys, this video is about Georgia Meloni, that is the Prime Minister of Italy, end of year conference that they did. So they asked a lot of questions, but we are basing on the immigration side, the questions that they asked about immigration, so that if you are immigrant here in Italy, you will know how to take your steps. Please, you need to watch this video till end. But this thing happens at the conference. Let's watch it. Yeah, so we get to a point Meloni needs to go and free herself before she can come back and answer their question. But what I'm interested in here is that they asked Jose Meloni that are you satisfied about immigration? Because you were saying that when you come to power, you will not allow any immigrant to come. Are you satisfied on dealing with immigration? Jose Meloni said no, she is not satisfied about how they work towards immigration because the social law that they were putting at the end of the day, she realized that. It is not the solution to immigration, but the solution to immigration is to leave Africa alone to help Africa so that immigrants will not come to Europe. The solution is not by blocking the Mediterranean Sea, giving money to Africans to treat Africans bad, especially what Tunisians were doing to black African immigrants who were trying to cross from Tunisia to Europe. Georgia Meloni even said that the new EU deal that they have passed, that they have accepted, is not even the solution. She says solving immigration issue is not about talking every day, but it is about giving Africa the opportunity, giving Africa the freedom so that Africans can work on their own, so that African youth will stop putting their lives on the Mediterranean Sea, on the desert, so that they can stay in their continent and they will be very, very happy on their continent. She continued to say that it is high time some of the EU countries will leave Africa alone so that they will be on their own. Let's watch that video and we are about to give you the rest of the update. So stay Il mio obiettivo è lavorare in Africa, fermare le partenze in Africa, valutare la possibilità di aprire gli hotspot in Africa per stabilire chi abbia diritto e chi non abbia diritto a essere, ad arrivare diciamo, in Europa, parallelamente lavorare sulla migrazione legale, dove lei sa che noi invece anche su questo abbiamo fatto un lavoro. Siamo stati il primo governo che ha attivato il decreto flussi per tre anni per capirci perché, perché un altro elemento fondamentale per combattere la migrazione illegale è diciamo dare segnali sulla migrazione legale ma per dare segnali dall'altra parte sulla migrazione legale è importante combattere quella illegale you have seen the video and still at the same conference that they asked Georgia Meloni that you guys are saying you are doing decreto fluisi for three years before and 2025 even decreto fluisi that they did in 2022 we couldn't hear any good results about that sanatoria 2020 there are a lot of people who will bear witness with me that people did the sanatoria 2020 up to date they don't have permit they don't know what is going on but you are saying you are doing another decret of lucy for three years and people who have tried their possible best to do what to reach europe by passing through the mediterranean sea they are here too and you are not giving them document. Dr. Meloni said they are working towards all these things. Let's watch that question they throw to Dr. Meloni when we are back. We will give you the rest of the update. So stay. President. Buongiorno a lei. Eh, lei ha parlato finora di burocrazia e anche di immigrazione programmata. Tuttavia, i dati della campagna Ero Straniero ci eh, confermano, oh, per quanto riguarda il decreto flussi del 2022, un sistema che non funziona bene. Eh, C'è appunto molta burocrazia. Eh, ci sono carenze di personale nelle prefetture, insomma ci sono migliaia di persone che non, col visto che non riescono ad arrivare qui da noi per lavorare e soltanto il 30% di quelli che poi arrivano per lavorare riescono ad avere un contratto di soggiorno, quindi a mettersi in regola, documenti e tutto quanto. Queste mh, carenze fanno sì che anche la sanatoria del 2020 ancora non, non sia chiusa e lei giustamente faceva accenno al decreto triennale eh, flussi 452 mila persone le chiedo 
come, sì, come il governo intende mettere mano alla questione. Eh, guarda. Come you have seen the video and now let's see what Giorgia Meloni is going to say. Giorgia Meloni is saying the prefectures are trying their possible best to work out. So let's pray, maybe who knows, if you are new immigrant here, they will try to do something to help you. Once you are here, they cannot send you back. Because she made mention that deportation, doing this, doing that, saying you deport immigrants, is not going to help. But the only thing that is going to help is to work with Africans, is to leave Africans alone so that their youth will be satisfied in their own continent without moving to another man's land. Because Jean Meloni said she was not satisfied with the 2023 immigration results. Let's hold that part too. When we have a cool give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. Sì, è, è oggettivamente un tema. Cioè, qui c'è una complessità uh, obiettiva soprattutto in questa prima fase che noi stiamo incontrando dove si accavallano da una parte eh, le richieste del 23 per le quali il termine è eh, scattato nelle ultime settimane lo scorso anno eh, che sono già circa 150.000 se non vado errata e si aggiungeranno le richieste del 2024 quindi è oggettivamente un carico di lavoro enorme sul quale forse bisogna anche valutare no? alcune ipotesi di, 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 snelli, di snellimento delle procedure ma intanto quello che noi abbiamo fatto e stiamo facendo è rafforzare gli organi che se ne occupano Ministro, Ministero degli Esteri, Ministro Tajani ha rafforzato eh, chiaramente il personale nei paesi di origine stessa cosa sta facendo per quello che riguarda appunto le prefetture il Ministro Piantedosi quindi Chiaramente avremo, abbiamo oggettivamente in questo momento una difficoltà, dopo questa fase iniziale io confido che si possa procedere più spediti, del resto è, è forse insomma, la, la mole più ampia no, di lavoro da fare negli ultimi anni da questo punto di vista, attesi i numeri e lei ricorda che il sistema andava in tilt per molto meno rispetto a quello che stiamo affrontando noi, ma abbiamo chiaro il problema, stiamo potenziando tutte le strutture che possiamo potenziare e poi magari bisognerà ragionare di capire se ci sono dei passaggi che sono secondari o superflui che si possono snellire, questo sicuramente. Se mi chiede se sono soddisfatta, no, se mi chiede se conto di essere soddisfatta... Yeah guys, I hope you have seen the video so far. That is what Giorgia Meloni is saying. These days I'm not seeing her talking on immigration. Let's pray. Maybe she has some good news for new immigrants who are here in the country. Continue to follow us so that we will be giving you information what is going on in the country. If today is your first time watching us, do us a favor, subscribe to the channel and be part of the family. And guys, if you want the best app to wire money back to Africa, the best application for you is Top Connect. You can download Top Connect on Google Play or App Store, register. You can use it to send money to Nigeria, Ghana. You can use it to send money through bank account, through mobile money, through cash pickup, any way that you want. Top Connect has make it easier for you and their rates are very, very higher. So what are you waiting for? Download the application and start enjoying their super, super high rate. And this is the update I have for you today. Until we meet again in the next video, Please is a fancy bless. Peace out.